But our most popular recipes are our strawberry cake and our chicken salad. And the strawberry cake is in the cookbook, even though I really did not want to give it out, but I did. <laughs> Literally, people ask if I get sick of our food, and I eat the chicken salad probably five days a week. So the answer is no. <laughs> I haven't gotten sick of it yet. Ashley Max really started as a hobby. I love to cook, grew up in a family that loves to cook. And I really just started this little side gig of catering because lots of my friends and family knew I loved to cook. Honestly, when we opened our first little store in Bluff Park, I kind of thought, oh, this is a good little hobby, glorified hobby. You know, we can make a little money out of it. And I was pregnant making strawberry cake and doing all the things and, um, you know, kind of seeing where this business was going to take us. After we put in our first big store in Cabo Heights, I really kind of thought, okay, this is it. We've got, you know, the restaurant now and it's a full service, you know, cafe and really didn't think anything was beyond that. But now we do have five locations in Birmingham and we're continuing to grow, hopefully. Yeah, so a big part of our story is my husband and I struggled with infertility for several years. How was the Lord going to build our family? Would we ever have biological children? We didn't know at the time. We were in blessed three fertility treatments with two biological boys. And then after that, we were really just praying about, um, you know, having some more kids. Do we need to continue fertility treatments or would we like to adopt? And I actually spent a year in China with Campus Crusade after college. And when I was there, I just fell in love with the people, the country. And so we worked with Lifeline Children's Services and adopted our little girl in 2015. She was two and a half years old and it is... Um, very difficult, but it's one of those things that I knew God called us to. And so I knew he was going to provide, you know, the grace and courage for us to love this child. And now I can't imagine, you know, family without her. I wrote my first cookbook um, just this year. We had, uh, you know, talked about it for several years. And as you can imagine, it's a very big project to take on. And just with my kids being small and our business growing, I really just kind of kept putting it off. There's so many cookbooks these days. And so that was kind of my thing of, oh, who needs another cookbook? I kept feeling like the Lord was calling us to write this book. And also I had a lot of people saying, you should share your story. We really felt like we were trying to build a business based on grace and just the Lord has blessed us so much. And we wanted to, you know, really invest in our people. And so that has always been the core framework at Ashley Max. In fact, I have a little, our core purpose I have sitting on my desk every day just to remind me of why we do what we do. It's to improve the lives of our employees and coworkers by engaging in authentic relationship, providing meaningful employment, cultivating a balanced, grace-centered, and excellence-driven work environment, and by facilitating the pursuit of their goals in life. For us, it's much bigger than, you know, bringing people in and teaching them how to cook or how to, um, you know, treat our customers and all the processes we have, but also just who they are as people from our Change Lives guys to our all of our staff. Also, there um, just is a book that has always been inspiring to me, and it's called Olivia Town. And it's about a little girl that um, paints this big town with chalk. And you get to the very end of the book and you see um, this town with these little bitty buildings and the people are ginormous. And my husband and I really just grasped onto that of, you know, it's not about the money. It's not about the bottom line. It's not about, you know, how big and great we can make Ashley Max, but it really is about the people that we're investing in. And so that really ties in well with um, the foundry and change lives and what um, y'all are doing. For us, you know, giving these guys a second chance is nothing, nothing um, off our backs and nothing that we can't imagine the Lord has done so much for us and all the grace he's shown us and forgiven us that, um, you know, that's the very least we can do for others. Some of these men have worked here for many years and are just such a light and bright spot at Ashley Max. And so we're just grateful. Mm -hmm.